and this is the reason why I bought a new helmet for my daily use. I always like a Flipbot modular helmet and the reason why is because What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've just gotten back home from my in-camp training. So if you guys have followed me closely on my Instagram, which is underscore need for right underscore, you guys should know I went for my two weeks in-camp training. It's a pretty long one and I have finally gotten back home. So these are my eight ICTs and I have two more ICTs to go before the end of my service. So after the 10 ICTs, the army will not call me back for training anymore. So I'm able to discard all my uniforms, all my boots and also all other stuff which is related to the training. So I've just gotten back home, I'll be washing up and also cleaning up all the stuff which I brought along for my in-camp training. Alright guys, so I've bought a new helmet for my daily use and the current helmet that I'm using is the Covered Duke flip up Modular Helmet. I've been using this helmet for many years and the inner line cushion has worn out. And this is the reason why I bought a new helmet for my daily use. I always like a flip up modular helmet and the reason why is because I'm able to leave the chin guard up when I'm putting on a helmet and also removing the helmet. So since this will be my daily helmet, so convenience is very important. And I can also have a choice of leaving the chin guard up when I'm riding, especially when I'm stuck in the traffic. And as you guys know, Singapore is so hot and humid and I might get suffocated in the traffic. I don't really design or deco my helmet with decals or stickers just that this helmet is too plain looking, it's full white in colour so I have bought the stickers for my helmet so this is a Gorilla Yamaha stickers only until today I just realised that these two stickers they are both in different colour one is in brown and the other one is in red I'm not sure whether you guys can see it in the camera so one of these will be installed at the front, the other one will be at the back. I don't really like those fanciful colour helmet as my daily helmet and the reason why is because I don't want to attract any unwanted attention on the road as sometimes I'll be leaving the helmet on the bike without unlocking it so there will be chances where my helmet might get stolen. So in the past I've experienced or encountered people stealing my stinky gloves and I really don't understand why people would like to steal other people's stinky gloves and riding gloves is so affordable you can get it between $20 to $30 so try not to leave anything on the bar because it might get stolen and other than the GoPro cameras for vlogging I also have this SJ Cam camera and there's no camera inside because I'm charging it right now so this SJ Cam camera was previously used for vlogging and I'm not using it anymore it has been sitting in the drawer for quite a while since it's not going anywhere I'll be utilizing the cameras on my daily helmet and nowadays there are so many nuisance driver and careless driver on the road they just don't care about our safeties I have so many encounters before on the road so having the cameras on your bike or helmet is really important as it will protect you in case of accident at least you have the footage of the accident so today I'll be installing the stickers and the cameras mounting onto my helmet and right now, let's get started As you guys know, Virgo always wants everything to be perfect so I have made both markings, one at the front and one at the back with the tape this will allow me to install the stickers at the center of the helmet and also symmetrical with the helmet so right now I'll be installing both of these stickers onto my helmet
So having a camera mounted at the front of the helmet, it has a better and clearer view. But of course, if I were to go for that setup, I will need a few more joints for the camera. So this will increase the weight of my helmet. So in order to avoid that, I will be installing this camera mounting at the side of the helmet. The new stickers and the camera mounting has been installed on my new helmet and I'm really really happy that my new daily use helmet has completed and I'm able to use it on a daily basis. And as you guys can see, there's the color difference between the helmet and the bike and I believe my bike is pearl white in color and the helmet is flat white in color. So this is the reason why there's a color difference. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like today's video, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't do so. I still need a few more of you to subscribe to my channel before I'm able to reach the 1000 subscriber mark. And I'm really really looking forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, ride safe and bye!